Hello everyone and welcome back to another Elden Ring guide video. In this one I'm showing you how to complete one of two series of quest lines in Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. These are super important to do because both quests will allow you to summon two NPCs for the final boss, which is a one hit kill kind of boss, and you're going to need all the help you can get. Also, you can get some of the DLC's best weapons and armors by completing these quest lines. Of course, the quest is missable and it ties into the other quest, which is the Sir Ansbach and Freya quest line. But I've made a separate video on that and I'll tell you in this video the point of no return where you need to go onto that video and make sure you've done everything. So let's begin. First off, you must reach the southern coast. From the Castle Ennis, you can walk down southwesterly here and make your way to the Poison area. Head north and drop down into the cavern till you reach the Elak River Cave. Drop down the waterfall and keep going all the way down and forward. There's only really one way to go until you reach the Elak River downstream. From here, keep heading south and stick to the right and past the fire giant up the hill and you will reach the Cerulean Coast Point of Grace. From here, just keep heading forward and up a hill, you'll see the map for the region. And then what you need to do is go through this section of the map here where there's a big hole in the ground and you need to make your way inside of the fissure. Basically, you need to make your way all the way through this area to reach the end of the dungeon and you will fight a boss. Next we're going to fight the Putrescent Knight and you simply drop off the edge here in order to fight him. He's quite tough but he's not the toughest boss in the DLC. After he's defeated, head into the room in the cave and you can find and talk with Saint Trina. Just make sure you don't actually accept to drink her nectar just yet. From here, go all the way back and fast travel to talk with Theolier at the Pillar Path Cross Site of Grace and tell him of Saint Trina's whereabouts. Make sure you exhaust all of the dialogue options before you head back. Next, fast travel back to St. Trina and Theolier should be there and you can speak with him and again exhaust all of the dialogue. This is where things get a little weird. Next, we can speak to St. Trina and we can drink her nectar, which makes you die. Keep doing this and after the fourth time, she will say something to you and that is what you are looking for, this dialogue. Now talk to Theolier again and exhaust all dialogue and pass on St. Trina's word to him. He will get mad and say he will never forgive you. Keep talking with him and he gets even madder and make sure to exhaust all the dialogue options and once that's done you can then drink the nectar again from St. Trina. When you respawn Theolier will invade you and you can fight and defeat him. He's super easy to kill but don't worry he will show up again later in the quest. Lastly, we need to drink St. Trina's Nectar again and keep going until she gives you the message that says, kill Mikola, you must grant him forgiveness. Once you get that, it might take a little while or you could get first time, it really depends. But once you get that message, you are ready to move on to the next step. 
The next step is to defeat Mesmer, who is at the top of the Shadow Keep. He's extremely tough, and you need to kill him in order to get an item, which will continue on the main story. So defeat him, and then you can continue on. From the storehouse first floor, go left and take the elevator to the ruins, and you must travel through them all the way to reach the final boss called Romina, Saint of the Bud Boss. Defeat this tough boss and you can continue on. Alright, you are now ready for the point of no return in this quest. If you haven't already done so, check out my other video to start the full St. Trina and Theolier's questline. You need to do these before you go into the next section or else you will miss them. But once you've done that, you can return to this video. After defeating Romina, head up the stairs and burn the tree. This will make most of the NPCs in the world disappear, which is why you need to complete the other side quest before burning the tree. After the tree is burned and there's a cutscene, you can fast travel back to St. Trina's cave to find Theo the Ear on the ground. Exhaust all of his dialogue and tell him St. Trina's words again, then you can drink her nectar again. After you do this, you can talk to Theo the Ear and he should simply say, aha, which means you are ready to do the ending. Travel back to Enir Ulam Ruins, which is the final location of this DLC. You must make your way through all the way to the top of the tower, and it's quite tough to reach there, but just keep going up, and you will finally reach the final point of grace and fight Needle Knight Leda and her allies. If you've done this right, you will get both orange summoning symbols to help you out in the fight. This is how you know you've done both of the side quests correctly. Defeat Lida and you're pretty much done the quest. After defeating her, you will get the full set of Freya's armor, Leda's armor, and Leda's sword, Freya's sword and the flax weapon, Dane's footwork, which is another weapon, which is hand to hand, and you'll also get the full set of braided armor, so a whole bunch of stuff after defeating Knight Leda. Last but not least, if you head up the stairs, from here is the final boss of the whole DLC. I won't spoil who it is, but pretty much they killed me as soon as I entered, so I haven't quite finished them yet, but outside the door you can summon Sir Ansbach and Theo Lear if you've done the quest lines correctly, and you definitely need them to help you in battle as he is extremely tough. After you defeat him, both Ansbach and Theo Lear's full armor sets will drop and their weapons as well, and that will conclude the quest line. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Like and subscribe for more Elden Ring DLC guides, and make sure to check out the other questline video I uploaded as well, and I will see you in the next one.